Wow, that background is boring. Okay, let's try something new. Boring. That's kind of what we're doing this. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a crafting video. And we are going to be doing unicorn jar. We first need a work surface to work on. I'm going to be using this play mat. That's, ooh, yes, beautiful. Ho, ho, okay. And you will need the main thing. A, you will need a jar. I'm using these mini mason jars that say love on them. And you will need some cotton. I'm using cotton ball, cotton swabs. I don't know what they're called. Some sort of styrofoam. Three or three jars. They best to use reusable ones, but I don't have any disposable. I mean, uh, it's best to use disposable ones, and I don't have any, so I'm just using this old paint jar that I use to keep my water, and tea, these old ones that are in my mom's farm using. Um, some ribbon of any color. I'm going to be using blue glitter. Some toothpicks, some glitter. I'm using two different types of glitter, but you can you only need one. And then you will need some paint. I'm using these Crayola paints because I really want to get rid of them. And this is a good way to do that. And you'll need some polymer clay, um, preferably like white, but any color really works. And you'll need a baking tray and some wax paper or parchment paper. And you'll need an oven. I'm assuming you all know what an oven looks like. And you will need some hot glue sticks and hot glue gun. You will want some Mod Podge or some sort of sealer or finisher. Tool. I also suggest having a paintbrush and some glue, clear glue. If you are not gonna, like for polymer clay, when you're making the horn, you make the horn out of polymer clay. And if you want the horn to be like glittery, um, I would suggest getting some gold glitter, a paintbrush and some glue. But if you're using like um, like yellow clay or you're gonna paint your clay, you plan on paint, painting it, then you don't need to. What you're gonna do is preheat your oven to whatever temperature your polymer clay says to be. Mine says to be at 275, so I'm just preheating What you're gonna do is take your parchment paper or wax paper and get enough to line your baking sheet. problem that I am I'm just gonna use some my glitter containers to weigh down the sides just so it does kind of flatten out a little bit. So what you first want to do is get your styrofoam. Oh let's get a better angle. There we go. Okay so you're gonna get your styrofoam and put stick in some toothpicks. We are gonna be making flowers and a unicorn horn. So however many you want I'm gonna do like Five flowers and a unicorn horn. Kind of satisfying. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Polymer clay. Excitement. I'm going to be using tan for my unicorn horn. So polymer clay does get hard. So what you first want to do is just take it and kind of work with it a little and get it all softened up. Take one of your toothpicks and start at the bottom. I'm going to be using the flat side as my bottom and the thick side and just wrap it around. I'm going to take it and place it in my styrofoam. So here I'm just going to be making some flowers. So what you want to do is get your polymer clay of your choice and just make it first soften it up. And then you're just going to like, you can put individual, I would make individual tiny balls of it and then flatten it out. As you can see here, I'm just taking my little long thing and I'm just going to wrap it in a circle around my toothpick. So yeah, you'll be right there. You can just see it's kind of like a burrito-ish. Wow, burrito. Ooh, yes, those comparisons. Now what you're going to do is just take some little pieces. I decided to just roll out a big flat piece with my fingers and then just rip them up. You can take tiny balls and rip them up. And you're just going to flatten them out so you have little flat circles like there I'm holding right now. 
and you're just gonna wrap the petals around the big base so you're making a little rose and you can make any color and any shape or size you want that's what i really like about these i'm gonna be doing multiple different thicknesses and you can see these actually do look really cool This video is going to drag on a while, huh? Oh, yes, okay. Heads up, I didn't really do, like, a bunch of time elapses. So, there's a really good chance of, like, this just being a really long video. Anyway, I'm still making my flowers here. Going back to the point. Now, this is me Googling if you could put a toothpick up in the oven. And, yes, you can. But wet it first, apparently. So, here are my flowers. Now I'm just going to remove my weights from my parchment paper. And it did work pretty well. And I'm just going to remove my flowers off the toothpick. And stick them right onto the parchment paper. It's okay to put your unicorn horn in with the toothpick, but wet it first, like I said earlier. And since I have my tooth my unicorn horn really loose, I'm just going to rest it there, which is also good. Thank you, me, for that comparison. So now I'm going to place it in the oven for 15 minutes. And here I am doing something. I am, looks like I'm removing the toothpicks from the thingy. And then look at me, I'm putting them back in. How smart. Okay, so I'm going to clear off my surface, and now you're going to need your paint, your water, your jars, your glitter, and your cotton, and your jar, yeah, I already said that. Now I'm just organizing everything. So you're going to take your cups of water, and now you're just going to take them and fill them each with water, whatever amount of water you want. So now that I got water in them, I'm just going to here show you guys what paint I'm using. And here I'm choosing which my third color is going to be. And um, let's see, what color am I going to choose? Is it going to be red? Is it going to be purple? What's it going to be? Purple! Um, actually, I forgot that I chose purple and I ended up using red later. Yeah. Mm. So here I'm just showing you that the blue was like clay. I probably could have used it to make flowers and it worked perfectly. That's the it's problem like with cola, clay. but it was gonna, I'm gonna make it work. I would suggest using acrylics, not washables for this. And I'll regret this decision that I made to use these paints later. But yeah, that comes later. Now I'm just going to stir my paint into my jar, and it's fine enough if your colors aren't super vibrant. You just want them enough that you'd be able to tell what color it is. That's slightly better. Now here, the pink is actually a really good color, but I probably should be using a spoon, not a toothpick. Because, uh, yeah, toothpicks don't, really, don't just pick up paint. I learned that later. Is there gonna be a time elapse? I don't know. Anyway, here I'm just stirring in the paint. Exciting. I'm a lapse. Woohoo. So exciting. Are you guys as bored as I am watching this video? No, well, I've seen this video a lot. You guys are probably just watching this for the first time. Anyway, you're now going to open your jar and get your cotton. And you're going to put the lid aside. 
and you're just going to kind of separate the cotton up a little bit because I'm using cotton balls. I don't know what type of cotton you're using. And now you're just going to stick it into the bottom of your jar. Just any amount really, but like, you know, you're going to have to put three cotton balls in there. So just think about that. I ended up using less than three cotton balls, but yeah. Um, now you're going to take your first color of paint water and drink it. No, no, don't drink that. You're going to pour it into just enough to cover the cotton. And here I'm just mixing it around a little bit just so it covers most of the cotton. And then you're going to take your glitter. I'm going to be using my gold glitter for this. And let me just struggle through opening this a little bit. Um, turns out you don't take it off. You're just supposed to twist it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to fail at that for a while. Okay, you should see I spilled a lot in the blue paint by accident. Yes, that was an accident. And now, oh, that's little. Let me just pour a little bit in there. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're going to pour a lot in there now. So, now we're putting a lot of glitter in. Because who doesn't love glitter? I know probably people out there who don't like glitter. Anyway, next we put in another layer of cotton. And then we put in our next layer of paint, glitter, cotton, paint, glitter. And then that timer just went off for my, um, like, this timer was for my polymer clay. So now I'm just going to pour some glitter into the lid of my jar. You can use, like, a bowl or a cup, whatever you want. I'm just going to use my lid because it was right there. And now I'm going to get a bunch of my toothpicks and stick them back in my styrofoam. Because now I'm just preparing to get my polymer clay out of the oven. So these are the things you're going to need when you get it out. Now I'm just going to here pull out my, turn off the oven first for, you know, safety. And now I'm just going to pull it out and place it on the top of the stove. And then, so now don't burn yourself like I just did here. Yeah, that hurt. Um, use your toothpick to pick it up. So, oh, that's, I'm just using my toothpick to gently stick it in. And then I'm going to dip it into my glitter. So you can see here how it looks. I like the look of it. It just gives it like a glittery trim. And I think it looks really cool. So now I'm going to do that with all my roses. Mm -hmm, this would be a good moment for a time elapse. Any minute now. Okay, glitter, good for you. Okay, time elapse, here we go. And now, after I get all my flowers dipped, I'm gonna, I'm using a towel with the unicorn horn on the stick, and I'm just putting it in the styrofoam. Now, um, I made this really huge mess. That's all glitter on the floor. So, I'm using our Swiffer mop to cl clean it. And then, eventually, I did end up having to vacuum this, because mops apparently don't pick up everything. But, um, yeah. Now here I'm getting, uh, oh, what did I just do? I just ran by there. That was like magical. And now here is a towel that I'm, I don't even know what I'm about to do, you guys. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, don't do this. It doesn't work. It's basically just me embarrassing myself on TV. Yeah, I ended up having to vacuum that up later. Anyway, so this part you'll need an adult for. You have to dream a hole in the top of your lid. So I'm going to use a nail and a hammer. Well, me, not me. My adult is going to just punch a hole in there. Punch that hole. Okay, I've got the hole. So now you can see here as I'm demonstrating. I'm about to demonstrate. There's just like some rough edges here that you know bad. So I'm using my hammer to just hammer them down a little bit so they're not super mm, pokey if you will yeah then here i'm gonna demonstrate Ooh, it's so smooth Ooh, yes give a thumbs up thumbs up good okay now i'm gonna plug in my glue gun plug in turn it on get some glue sticks in there and now i'm gonna take this and i am going to mm, what, okay tin foil i'm gonna pour some of, oh yes get to open this again fun You'd think I've learned right now what to do with this. Okay, once I open that, I'm going to pour it onto the tin foil. You can also use parchment paper for this step. I always add parchment paper, though. I'm pouring... Oh, 
lot of glitter on. You don't need a lot, but I put a lot on. So now you're going to get your glue and your paintbrush. And you're just going to, like, you know, put it on there. Pour it on there. And for this, you'll need the horn. But make sure the horn is cooled first because you won't want a burning hot horn. And now I'm just going to paint the glue on my unicorn horn. So, why do I not show what I'm doing? It's really annoying. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, you can see it's painted now, kind of, if I'll show you. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Now I'm just going to roll it in the glitter so the horn is all glittery. Um, my hair in the frame that's really annoying it's right oh my gosh go away okay wait, wait, okay okay so now while i'm sprinkling this on self-promotion time no i'm just kidding i'm sorry that i haven't been posting a lot i know it's been like forever since i posted but i am trying to post more regularly now and i'm trying to make i have a lot of videos that i'm just trying to get on to youtube now so yeah uh, hopefully it won't be as boring as this unless you're not finding this boring then good for you okay now i'm gonna stick my unicorn horn into my styrofoam stick it in there okay gotta stick it in there and now what am i doing i am going so to get my start assembling all of our oh, pieces what am I getting my so my mod podge and you'll be needing your Mod Podge, a paintbrush. You can move that aside. You'll be needing your unicorn horn, your flowers, and your lid. So, let's get started with I that. I went ahead and did this off camera, but what you're going to want to do is remove all your flowers from their toothpicks. And I do suggest doing this before they so dry So, also 100%, remove the flowers from your toothpicks. while it's still cool and won't burn yourself. Okay, my glue gun is hot, and I got all my stuff. Let's get going. So now I'm going to get my hot glue and I'm going to glue down my unicorn horn to my lid. And I'm just going to stick it through the hole that we made earlier. And I'm just going to get my hot glue and stick it in there. Ooh, careful, don't burn yourself. And I did let my unicorn horn dry just so you guys know. Don't burn. Oh my gosh, it's getting so close to my hand. Don't burn yourself. Okay, now I'm just gonna hold it centered so it can dry. Now I'm just gonna stick the extra horny thingy into my styrofoam. And now I'm just thinking about where I'm gonna position my clay flowers and then I'm gonna glue them on with hot glue. So now I'm just going to get my pink paint and paint the lid. Marker, it can be any color that you want. I'm going to be using black, but you can also use gold or silver would also look cool. Any like gold or silver unicorn color would look cool, but I'm just going to go with black. So for some reason I didn't put the lid on the jar when I was coloring it. So here you'll see my very beautiful solution. Oh yes, good job, Izzy. So I'm just gonna trace the word love on my jar and I'm gonna draw a some unicorn eyes onto the jar too, just cause I can and I want to. Now I'm drawing the eyes, there we go.
So now I'm just going to Mod Podge over everything. Oh, oh, did you see that? It's Mod Podge Snot. Now I'm Mod Podging over everything. Like the paint, the glitter, the uh, horn, flowers. The everything. And I also am not podging over the jar where the face and the eyes are. Now I'm just going to have some ribbon. And I'm using this new glittery ribbon that I showed earlier. And it's brand new, so I don't know why I didn't just rip that tape off. Um, I did decide to cut it though. I don't know why, but I did. So, yeah. Now I'm just tying a little bow around the jar, and then I'm going to Mod Podge it on. Now I'm just putting a little bit more Mod Podge onto the lid where I painted. And now I'm just gonna screw it, screw it onto the jar. Anyway guys, here's the finished product. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sorry it went on so long. See you guys next time. Bye!